Lorenzo Lynch again. Back with Chuck Cecil. Lorenzo Lynch, he has the right to celebrate. I mean, I mean, he did. This guy came out and he ended that play. He played a heck of a game. The last 29 here. It's Lorenzo Lynch. I mean, he just comes up there trying to get the block on him. He just beats the block right here and makes the tackle. But it's always one of those safeties that are getting up there. That time it was Aaron Pierce who was trying to block him. And that wasn't a very good block. I mean, if you're a big tight end. Same kid on Broadway to Megan. Megan, a good tackle by Lorenzo Lynch. You don't see many tackle Megan like that. Now, and, and Lorenzo Lynch is having a big game today. I mean, those safeties, whether it's Lynch or Booty or whomever, have been all over. Look at these moves that Megan makes, and there's Lynch right there. I was going to say, that is a great tackle. But in overtime, the 11th turnover of the afternoon decided the outcome. Well, you know, like I said, I went to Garfield from there, you know, on the Roosevelt Junior High, and from there I went to Oakland High. And, uh, and from after Oakland High, I went to Chabot, where I started. You know, I wanted to, I wanted to major in psychology, uh, but it, it it got a little difficult, so I just wanted to change my major. I just I just went for straight general education at Chabot, and then once I got up to Sacramento State, they, they I had to you know I got in through the EOP program. Let's not forget that, uh, you know what I'm saying? And you know they they took me in, and so you know I had took all of my required courses. So they brought me in and said, we got to find a major. So I, I did a lot of little tests and stuff, and then I ended up coming out with recreation leisure study. coming through our school one time, giving us a talk, him and uh, the coach, Marcel Lonis, used to be our coach, and he was letting us know how hard it is to make it in professional sports, NFL or what not have you, and um, only one in a million of make it, one in a million. And at that time, all of us, four or five of us at that time, we all sat around the table and heard Joe Morgan said what he said, and we all thought that we would all be that one in a million. We all had heart, we all had skills, but Lorenzo was a dedicated person. Lorenzo was a part of a an unusual group of young men who played football at Oakland High. He was part of the 10 and 0 season that is remembered over uh, over the years as uh, one of the best football teams to come out of Oakland High. Me and Lorenzo being roommates in college, um, you know, as college people and things, you get caught up in the in the in the college activities, you know, such as maybe drinking beer and and, and, and other other substances that are not, you know, not good for you and your body. Um, Lorenzo, it seems like. Every time we would go someplace to do those type of things, we would look around and say, where's Lorenzo? And he wouldn't be there. To me, nobody would, couldn't beat my dad in nothing. You know, I used to just sit back and just watch him, you know. And even when he was small, he used to tell the girls, we, me and him used to watch football on TV, he used to tell the girls, your brother going to be right there. You know, I'm going to be right there playing. You know, I'm going to be there. This past season, we had the honor of following a particular Raider. As a matter of fact, this Raider was born and raised in this town. He even snuck in and sold peanuts and hot dogs as youth when the Raiders played back in the early 70s. We are a nation of Raiders. It's a nation of Raiders. We are a nation of Raiders. Lorenzo Lynch, he has the right to celebrate. I mean, I mean, he did. This guy came out and he ended that play. He played a heck of a game. Bye.